Hi, I'd like to welcome everybody uh, to this video. My name is Renan Augusto. I'm Director of Digital Marketing with Smith Life Home Care. If you're not familiar with Smith Life Home Care, we're part of the Charles E. Smith Life Communities. We provide service in on campus here at Charles E. Smith Life Communities in Maryland and Washington, D.C. If you're looking for our services, you can always reach out to us by calling 301-816-5020. I'd like to welcome Ms. Kathleen McGinnis. Ms. Kathleen McGinnis is the former Director of Community Relations with Smith Life Home Care, and she's retiring from Smith Life Home Care. She's known as an industry expert and as my former supervisor. How are you doing, Kathleen? <laughs> I'm great, Renan. Uh, happy Friday to you, and thank you for having me here for this sort of brief informal chat on my way out the door. I appreciate it. Thank you. I really appreciate your time and joining today. Uh, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about as you're retiring from Smith Life Home Care about you uh, and what's next for you. Uh, but before I jump into that, can you tell me a little bit about when you joined Smith Life Home Care five years ago, what was your goal with Smith Life Home Care? Um, thanks for a great question. Uh, I my initial goals with Smith Life Home Care were to uh, to do good, to help others age in place better than my parents had the opportunity to do so, um, who were trying to age in place here locally and um, had a lot of negative experiences with that process. So I was happy to bring that experience, positive and negative, to Smith Life Home Care. And the third part of that, First um, was to do good. Second was to help others age in place better than my own family did. And the third was to make a profit. Um, while Charles E. Smith Life Communities is a nonprofit, Smith Life Home Care is a profit. And um, uh, I loved being an advocate for the older community. Uh, it, the community at large was essentially the replacement of my parents. Yeah, well, you, you accomplished those goals very well because you took the company from a $3 million company to a $12 million company. Uh, you elevated yourself and your credentials. You ele elevated my credentials. You helped me become a certified dementia practitioner, senior home safety specialist. You've done that for other people in our organization, becoming dementia friends, uh, certified dementia practitioners, senior home safety specialists, and uh, in attending events with you, um, it's just, I, I really admire uh, how you've earned the respect of everybody in the industry. You take your time to do presentations for communities uh, to teach them. And um, really, it's an amazing accomplishment. And, uh, you know, now Thank that you. it's really sad that you're retiring, but what's next? Uh, <laughs> well, what's next is, is you're sitting in my office. That's good. <laughs> Uh, you know, it allows other people within Smith Life to uh, expand their worlds and grow their professional wings to um, take a greater position in the community. And you all are ready. Like I said, everybody's been earning additional professional credentials and education in, as in certified dementia practitioner, which is a recognized accomplishment in our industry. I believe helps build trust with the people we are trying to serve. So what's next for me is the, as a commissioner on the Commission on Aging and some other ventures that I'm just starting. Uh, but predominantly my role as a commissioner on the Commission on Aging is I've chosen to work with the a communications committee. I'm, I will be a, a, an ambassador in a pilot program that they're offering. So I will be once again, out into the community and letting them know what a fabulous place Montgomery County is to live for those trying to age in place. A uh, lot of resources available. And as I found with my job here at Smith Life Home Care, there are some great programs that the community is totally unaware of. Many financial supports uh, like ARC Respite, um, so our role at Smith Life Home Care is not order takers as uh, providing home care in wherever someone's home might be, the hospital, a rehab, 
private home setting. But our role here at Smith Life Home Care is, has always been to advocate and make them aware of what Montgomery County has to offer, funding for home care, special programs for dementia, special programs for uh, Parkinson's through all the many layers of uh, community education that, that we do at Smith Life, like the Ask the Expert. Um, usually I'm interviewing somebody, now you're interviewing me, see? That's the way it's supposed to work. You know, I'm so glad to hear that you're continuing, even though uh, you're retiring from Smith Life Home Care, uh, you're going to be helping out the county. And as you said, this county, I don't think I, I didn't realize when I started here uh, how lucky we are to live in Montgomery County and the benefits uh, in the ARC Montgomery County, which is a program that uh, you've always loved. And, and it's a fantastic program. Uh, but more importantly, I'm just happy to hear and it's a big win for the residents of Montgomery County to have you sitting in as a commissioner and um, you know I just want to thank, thank you on behalf of uh, Smith Life Home Care for everything you've done for us and I look forward to seeing what you're going to be doing moving forward. Thank you Renan it's been a pleasure and an honor to work here. Um, I have been working for 55 years so that's a lot of experience, uh, positive and negative, to bring to the table, bring to the community, bring to Smith Life Home Care, to Charles E. Smith Life Communities. And I think that uh, it has been received well, um, part of the reason we've been so successful. Uh, and my um, ongoing position in life, which is to take a little bit of risk generally ask for forgiveness, not permission. Um, and as long as my motivation is good to do good, to advocate, to help people, which I'm driven to do, it's all worked out. So uh, on to the next chapter. Thank you again for everything you've done uh, to support and collaborate with my work. And we will continue to be in contact, Renan and I'm, I'm only a phone call away for Smith Life Home Care or Charles E. Smith. Great. And let me ask you one last question. If anybody wants to reach out to you, uh, I know you've made yourself available as a commissioner. Um, is there a certain way that they should go about contacting you? Yes, they can email me at kmm7720 at gmail.com, or they can call me on my cell phone, which is 301 873-5506. We are just realigning our phone numbers at the Commission on Aging, um, which is open Monday through Friday. Uh, and those phone numbers are in the process of being changed right now. So just calling me directly is the best way to reach me. Great. Again, thank you for your time, Kathleen. A heartfelt thank you for everything that you've done uh, for me in my career, for our company. And um, my hat's off to you. Congratulations. And I hope you um, travel the world like you've been doing. And I will. So stay tuned. Thank you. And um, we'll be talking. Great. Bye. Thank you.